Okay, so this is a job that we got tasked with. This was a uh, this was a uh, bent shaft from a roller, a sheet metal roller. This is a job that we got. And uh, essentially what this is, is a piece of three quarter inch ground uh, um, tool steel. And uh, when we first got it, you can hear that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty hard, right? So this is kind of like the, the shop repair. I mean, nothing super technical because we, we duplicated this shaft out of 01 tool steel and yield and it's ground and now we're going to go and harden and temper it now this is an example like i mean no shop not a whole lot of hardening shops are going to want to take this on or um, be able to do it fairly quickly so what we're going to do is just uh, shop style hardness and, and i mean it should get them going right and and as far as the reason why i chose 01 is that's oil hardening tool steel and it's readily available so all we have to do we didn't do anything with the diameter just put the snap ring grooves and woodruff keys in and, and that that's okay. it so what we got here is some uh old used motor oil and i'm sure you could use quenching oil but again this is something we got to do relatively quickly we're going to heat this up and uh we're going to quench it when it's uh, red hot so i'm going to get a little setup going to hold this and then we're going to dip it in here when it's uh you know, medium red, probably almost the color of that bucket. Okay, so what we have, we got a fire extinguisher, some oil. When this O1 reaches temperature at which it can get, uh, it gets, it can get quenched, is it loses magnetism. So what we're gonna do, trying to do this in a way where it doesn't soak a bunch of heat into the table. Celsius actually. 490 degrees Celsius. Now let's go in blue. It's important because when we go to take the uh, temper out of the, uh, like take the hardness and convert it into toughness, uh, we're gonna clean this, uh, clean the shaft up so it looks polished again because it's gonna come out of the oil bath all, all city. And we're gonna throw it in a uh, oven and we're gonna heat it up to 490 degrees Celsius as hot as that toaster oven will go and that's going to turn it into a, a straw color and it's going to convert the, uh, the hardness uh, from a brittle state to a tough state. see it's starting to get slightly red and we're gonna we're creeping up on this slow because we don't want it to get any uh, opportunity to warp and as well as so the heat heat kind of distributes evenly into the part so it's just getting to a point where if not sure on camera, you can see it, but it's uh, slightly getting a bit red. The argument could be made too is when we quench this is it it's probably not the right way to quench this because uh, as you can see it's kind of slightly losing magnetism it's a little bit hotter So it's lost its magnetism. It, this oil is going to get pretty hot and it could uh, could melt the, the plastic pail, right? So this is what I kind of had laying around, around the same size. 
So, actually, no. We're gonna have to do this again. Okay, so this is after the second quench because it didn't seem to uh, harden the first time. Yeah, that seems a lot better. Okay, so that, uh, now we got a good uh, hardness on here. I'm just gonna roll it, gonna clean this off and then roll it on a surface plate because like I said, it's probably not the best situation to uh, be uh, using the, uh, like you should dip it vertically because it could, as this cools down, it could cool this and then shrink this side. But I mean, I think for what it's worth, I think it'll be fine. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna let this thing heat up uh, to 400 to max. So it should be uh, 450. And then we might have to hit it with the torch a bit to get a straw color, so it should be good. reason you want to do this in an oven is like the majority of it is so it uh, is uniform right because it's kind of hard to uh, get everything uniform so you can see right or, like so now yeah okay. so you can see there's some sections of blue and we're getting into a dark straw color here Let it sit for a second and get the heat to soak in. So you can see it's slowly getting all darker straw brown. Should be good there to quench. Here's the shaft. This is the one with all the tempered colors. I, I can just leave that on there. It's not. Uh, like it cooked a bunch of oil on there. Um, you know, it's worth saying that uh, it probably would be best practice to, to dump this in vertically so you don't get any stress on that. Um, but again, before I, I sent this out, I just ran a file over it, made sure it still had uh, hardness and uh, should be good to go.